So I just got word that Hearth got the Ama 4s in and I don't have those in my collection yet. And I've been hearing everybody say that that's the sneaker of the year. So the only way I can find out is go and get the shoes and make my decision myself. So let's go ahead and head over there real quick and check these shoes out. Y'all got them fours? Yeah, bro, we got them out All here, right. dude. My size, right? Yeah. 13? Yeah, I'll right, be good. Yeah. Okay. I need those for sure. Let's see what else they got back here uh, at the store. I know I was looking at these last time I came out here, but uh, come a little closer. What you guys think? Cool Grey 11s? You can never go wrong with these. I feel like this is always a good shoe. Oh, no. The Cherry 11s? These is coming out soon. Did anybody get early access on these? Let me know down below in the comment section. I'm going to be taking my cracks at these this week actually they're coming out this weekend so i'm trying to get as many pairs as i can for retail i know everybody in my family is going to want these as well i know wifey my mom my dad my sister everybody, everybody's going to want the cherry 11 so but i am thinking about getting another pair of lost and found ones let's go over here to this side real quick sometimes it struggles when you're trying to look for a size 13 so we're going to see if i can find anything but they got a y'all got a uh damn look they only got a size eight through ten and a half right here. Y'all got any more sizes of these? I can check the back for you. I need you to look, bro. All right, I got you. Cause I need these, bro. I, got you. I need these. They always got the small sizes, bro. <laughs> if you are eight through ten and a half, they got you for sure. Hopefully they got some more. I know they said they was getting some more in last time we came over here, so hopefully we can find something this time. Um, is there anything else that you think? We should? Oh, I'm on fours. They got him. Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. Come here, come here, come here. All right, look. So I'm having this great debate right now and I wanna know, come closer, come closer. <laughs> Which one do you guys think is better? The Chicago's or the Amaz? Let's get these out the box real quick. It's always uh, taking a little bit longer. Other people, I know the packaging and everything, right? This is gonna be the great debate of the year. Like what's the what's sneaker the of the year, right? So I'm gonna put these right here. We're gonna, let the people decide too. What do you guys think? Ama or Chicago? I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm gonna have you guys do some voting in a second. But I think I see something else over there. Uh, I need to you see. Know what I think I think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I think I know what you're talking about. Let me about. go over here real quick because <laughs> if I'm not tripping, I think they got the white cement threes right here. Look at these looks at this shoe right here, bro. These are said to come out in the springtime next year. Some people has been getting their hands on some early pairs. They got a 10 and a half and 11 on these right here. Y'all got a 13 in these? Okay, he's going to the back and look. Yo, if, he gets, if they got a 13 on these, this is about to be crazy, bro. <laughs> these things are fire, bro. What, oh my gosh. I need to do a review on these ASAP for you guys. Let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. This shoe is extremely fire. You can never go wrong with this. The fire red threes people slept on. I think these in particular, people are definitely not gonna, they're not gonna sleep on these. Like, price is gonna go crazy. They have an 11, but no 13. Okay, I got a proposition for you. All right, tell me. Would you be down to let me borrow this size 11 to do a review? I think we could work something. You could do that? I think we could okay, yeah, all right, all right. So we're gonna get this 11. <laughs> we're gonna bring it back though. Ah, I need a 13, bro. Yeah, we might be able to, okay. might be able to finesse. Hey, in time, in time, if they get the 13, I gotta rock up the 13 out here. But these two, is there any, is, should we look for anything else? Do you think we should look for anything else? I feel like this two is enough already. I kinda, I don't know. I wanna see what else y'all got up here. I think this should be straight. We got some good stuff last time. How many people's up in here? I wanna see what you guys think about these right here. Come, come a little bit closer, come a little bit closer. So. I want to know. Wait, all right, we gotta eliminate this one because this ain't. This could potentially be sneaker of the year next year. Next year, yeah. But not this year. Coming this March year. 23. This is gonna be crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, out of these two shoes right here, which one do you think is sneaker of the year? Well, I, I have a pair of these. I had to get a pair of these for myself because it's just it's too good. Right. But if we're talking about like actual quality. The collab, everything. I gotta go with the fours. I mean, the suede. I'm on four. I just the suede is too pretty. They did a great job with like the colored, the yeah. like, kind of rustic retro colored midsole, Ooh. the quilted leather underneath. I mean, it's a, it's just it's a perfectly well yeah. Shoe. So sneaker of the year debate between these two. You going with the I'm on four? And the reason for that is because 
he's got there's mold on this shit. Like I, we people can't, got moldy pears. People, people moldy did pears. get moldy pears. Pop up the pictures for that. You can't possibly get mold on this. Like, yeah. I mean, you could. I but, feel that. I mean, but this top thing is just so prone to molding. Right. right. That's why these. That's why these. Right. Are shot. Well, I'm excited to be able to cop this pair, which I will in a second. But I think I might grab these. I, I need to double up low key. Yeah. But I don't know, bro. I was thinking about these. I feel like we should ask some more people in the store and see what they think All right, yeah, as like well. It. I know we've been doing the polls recently on TikTok <laughs> and everything, but asking like what's the sneaker of the year, all the different stuff. And the reason why I made this video is because I've been seeing a lot of people with these two answers yeah. as I've been asking that question yeah. throughout the different stuff that I've been doing it's at different first events. And second, so you can switch it's them like out. a hard debate, yeah. yeah. So okay. I don't know, again, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section, but let's get some more people over right. here yeah, let me and see the, what they think about the shoe. This is a hard debate, I don't know. I'm trying to see. What's up, bro? How you doing? What's up, man? How you doing? Good to see you. So I've been asking this question, uh, which one people think is the sneaker of the year? And uh, he picked the fours. Yeah. I'm still debating. I'm interested to see what everybody else thinks. Okay. Which one do you think is the fours or the ones when it comes to sneaker of the year? Between these two? I'm going to go with the fours because we haven't seen a colorway like The fours. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Go with the fours. Wow. I feel like this is just a re retro. Yeah. But this one's low with the quill and all that. Yeah, they, they did this. Okay. So you're rocking with the fours. Yep. Okay. Who cool. else? So what, what other? We got more employees up in here. What's Olivia. up? What's up, bro? What, what you think? The ones or the fours when it comes to these? Come a little bit closer. Come a little bit closer. Uh, that's the thing. I, I love fours, so I have to go. You're rocking with the fours too. Yeah, I just love the color. Like, it's, like you get what Trace said. It's a Same unique thing. colorway. So. Unique shoe. Yeah. Okay, so when it comes to sneaker of the year, you're rocking with the fours. Yeah. We got three people rocking with the fours. I thought it was gonna go this way. This is interesting. Come on, I know you've been in some videos before. <laughs> Tell me you're picking the ones. Actually, I am gonna pick the ones. Let's go. <laughs> They're just a classic. It's a classic. Can't go wrong, yeah. Can't go wrong with it. So. That's been the next great debate. It's like, should we dip these in coffee and age them even more? I know we've heard some people complaining about, like, it needs to be more vintage. It needs to look older. So I'm trying to see what everybody thinks about that. That's why I'm low-key, you know what I'm saying? I might have to do it. What you think, bro? I mean, I think it'd be a good idea. I mean, they did it pretty vintage already with the, the yellowing. Yeah. But, I mean, I think they need to yellow it even more. Like, even this, more. Is, this is the color I would want on, on there. Right. Because it matches, it matches the tongue. Like, yeah. the tongue's yellowing is not the same as the midsole. I'll feel you. And I need that to I'll feel you on that <laughs> you know one. I'll I mean? feel you on that one. Yeah. Okay. Which one are you rocking with? So, Which one am I rocking the with? Run, the ones or the four? Sneaker of the year. <sighs> Sneaker of the year. I got to go with the Lost and Found. The Lost and Found. I love ones too much. And. I think low key with the quilted padding in these, yeah. they're just too uncomfortable. You, have like you them. tried them on? I tried them on. Okay, it's like a little them. bit too much. It's a little bit too much for me. The threes felt better. The, the threes, threes felt uh, better, yeah. But yeah. the inside of the fours kind of kills it for me, so I got I it. I think okay. the threes trump the fours, but the threes trump fours, but the ones trump threes. Trump threes. But this is a whole nother topic. Those threes. Stay tuned. Video comes soon. Video comes soon. What's up? I know you're ready to tell me your votes. <laughs> tell me you're rocking with okay. the ones. I am gonna have to say the ones. The ones. I love fours. I okay. do love fours. But okay. the ones, the colorway, great colors to be able to pair with outfits. Okay. Red, white, and black. It's like year round, this is like more yeah. seasonal yes. type of vibe. This the material too, it's I think more easy to get dirty. Yeah, a little sketchy. A lot more easily, yeah. Okay, but so a lot more ones, easy to wear too. Lots of so that's like three and three, right? Is that three and three? That's 50%. 50 yeah. 50? What you want to do? You want you want me and you to vote or what? You want to see what the people think? We can go however you want to go. I think, ah man, I'm going to stick, just stay to the end of the video. I'm going to show you guys which pair I think is the best. But we definitely got to pick up the fours right now. And I wanted to give these away, but I'm not sure. I was thinking about dropping them a coffee, what I should do. I don't know, bro. I don't know, man. Or should I just give these away? Or should I rock them? I need them for my collection still too. I'd like to see. I'd like to see you put a fit together for these. For those, I'll be seeing you in good fits with plenty of different pairs. So yeah, I want to see what you can do with these. With these right here. Yes. Actually, where, where's Troy at? Let's. I got a proposal for him too. Troy. I got a proposal for him. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if he's gonna give you. If we can get him to give you guys a pair away too. We're gonna see right now. So I got a proposal for you. All right. What are you thinking? I, I've, I've done the great debate. I'm trying to figure out though. You know, I wanted to do like dipping coffee, maybe give a pair away or something like that. Okay. Trying to figure it out, maybe these, those, I don't know. Would you be down to partner up and do a giveaway for one of these two shoes? Like another pair? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Give the audience like of these, those yeah. or those? Or you know what? give away both or what? Like, 
Let's, you know, whatever you down to do, I'm down to do okay, too. Okay, okay. Let's let the audience choose the which ch one. They're gonna choose which one is the, sneaker is the, the giveaway year. or the sneaker of the year. What do you think? I don't know. What y'all think? Let me know down yeah, below. Yeah, I feel see like, what they say. Okay, how about we'll let them vote down below in the comment section. Yeah. And then we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll let them pick which one they want it to be. Yeah. But even yeah. if they win or lose. We'll give one away. Okay. Let's do it together. So yeah. we'll set that up. Yes. We'll set that up. We're going to iron it out. We'll figure it out. When we get back to the house, I'm going to show you guys a more unboxing and a more detailed look at this shoe right here. You guys have already seen the Lost and Founds, but we'll get the details figured out on that. And then from there, we'll have all the info for you guys. And they just started a YouTube channel. Yeah. Check Tell us them out. about the YouTube yeah. channel. So YouTube channels, videos twice a week. We're doing vlogs. We're doing cash outs making sure you guys see everything about the store, both the back and the front, uh, and uh, make sure you have a good time. It's it. gonna be dope, it's gonna be dope. So they're gonna have a lot of the behind the scenes stuff, and then we're also gonna catch up with them a couple times a month, maybe once a month for sure, on the whole shop and the build out, because we got a new shop opening in May. Yep. So that's gonna be Double some months space, from now, yep. so we're gonna have time to really give you guys some in-depth looks at a sneaker store and how it goes from the process of moving to a new store, starting a store, all the in-depths in and out of having employees and paying for these shopping bags. These shopping bags are pretty sick. How much do these shopping bags cost? 250 each. 250 a bag. All these little things add up when you yeah. have a store. So we definitely want to talk about more of that type of stuff in future videos as well. Yeah. But for now, I need to get cashed out. I need to go and get these shoes and take them to the house and try them on and do everything like that. Gotcha. And uh, we'll figure out the giveaway stuff. Yep, yeah, it's coming. Stay tuned, stay tuned. I'll see you guys back at the house. We back at the crib, I got my shoes and it's time to take a deeper look at these Ama 4s in particular. I know you guys have seen the Lost and Founds on my channel, which we will go over in a second, but I gotta make sure I crack this box open real quick and just take another look at the details. Now we have the same shroud like we've seen on the Ama in the past you got your jordan 4 box right here kind of with that burgundy kind of color whatever color you want to call this uh on the box matching the similar colors to the upper you have the black jump man with the flight right here in white you got the ama branding on the side of the lid and then on the box you got the speckling right here and on the size tag it says air jordan 4 retro sp violet or medium ash black size 13 just for me and lifting off the lid right here you got your ama branding with the image on the inside of the box right here which we will get into more of an in-depth detail review in the future when we go through the ones twos and threes and all the set and everything how it all compares to each other for the quick glance of everything you got your ama paper right here with the all over print and then you got the shoe oh you got the shoe so i'm definitely excited to talk about these and compare these against the lost and found air jordan ones because this has been the great debate which shoe is the best and i told you guys i would give you my opinions at the end of this video and how you guys can win one of these sneakers as well thank you to hearts for collaborating with me on this one and being able to give you guys an opportunity to win one of these sneakers i'll give you guys an in-depth on how to do that in a second but first we got to talk about these two real quick i've gone over this now i said before i need to talk about the fours overall materials details and the collaboration on this shoe they did a really really good job i think when it comes to collaborations that we've seen over the past couple years this is definitely one of those the top sneakers for that but i have to compare these to the jordan threes when it comes to the ama collaborations alone i really love that one i think that's the best one of the three and now we have this as the four so again i'll talk about that in a bit when we do the comparison but i still think that the three is better than the fours so you know it's hard for me to rank this as one of the top sneakers of the year if i think that this isn't even the best collaboration of the four collaborations that they did just alone on these four. Now, I know we got the 12s and the airships and different things like that, which we'll get into in that video, but that's just kind of giving you guys a mindset on how I feel. Now, some people could say the Chicago, it comes out all the time. You can't, you know what I'm saying? Like, why would you pick that one? But it's just so classic, so nostalgic, so iconic. And I think they did a good job on this release. I'm not mad at these at all. And I'm very, very happy to be able to add another pair of these to my collection. I'm looking forward to rocking this shoe, putting it in a rotation. I didn't tore my 2015 pair up and I plan on doing the same exact thing with these. And like I talked about earlier, maybe even dipping these in coffee 
and making a video so if you guys want to see that the coffee dip of these and kind of vintage giving it that old school look let me know down below in the comment section on how you guys feel about that and like i asked earlier which one do you guys think is the best out of these two and are these even considered to be the sneakers of the year i know we've had a lot of conversation with the orange lobsters or even the reverse mocha travis scott air jordan one lows this right here was considered to be one of the top sneakers of the year before we saw the lost and founds and the amas come out and don't get me wrong there was a lot of other great releases as well which we'll get into the top 10 releases at the end of the year in a couple weeks from now but it's very interesting to see everybody's results and everything like that and as i've been doing these interviews as you guys seen on tiktok or instagram and different platforms like that I've been hearing a lot of people talk about these two, so that's why I wanted to make this video. And obviously I wanted to pick up the Amar 4s at the same time for my collection. So it was a win-win to be able to make this video and ask you guys this question. Now for you guys' chance to win the pair of shoes for your collection. What you're gonna need to do is hit the link down below in the description or pinned in the comment section. Go ahead and sign up through that link. And once you have done that, you are good to go. We will be announcing the winner on Christmas day. So good luck to everybody. I'll make sure that I get more announcements out we did post on instagram and other platforms and i'll keep reminding you guys over the next couple weeks if you forget to enter i hope you guys enjoyed this video and again don't forget to check out hearth their website will be linked down below in the description as well they just dropped some merch shout out to them and they're going to be dropping all their sneaker inventory on their website soon as well so make sure you stay tuned because they're going to have a lot of good deals on there the links for everything will be down below in the description as well for that so i'll see you guys in another one good luck i'm out Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there.